Hey, hey, all my crafty peeps. I am here today to do a Diamond Art Club unboxing of The Edge of Enchantment by Meredith Dillman. This one's a pretty good size. Uh, it is a square. It's a 70 centimeter by 87 centimeter. So let me move this up close so you can see. She's a fairy. And she's sitting uh, on a tree, near a tree, by a tree. Here a tree, there a tree, everywhere a tree. Let's see, sorry, I'm getting all this stuff out of the box. And we have, per usual, the small sticker sheet that you can put on your box or in your log, log book. Here is the tool kit. Um, I won't take everything out. Basically, it has everything you need to diamond paint. Um, let's see. I was going to see what the cover minder looked like just for kicks. Oh, okay. So it's a little rose. You've got your squishy for your pen. You've got a sparkly tray. You've got some wax. You've got some washi tape, extra baggies. You've got a pen and tweezers and a couple of multi-placers, I think. Anyways, it says everything on here. Yeah, one multi-placer. So there you go. All right, let's get into this. And if you're new and you don't know what a toolkit is and what all comes in it, feel free to go back and look at any of my other videos because I show it in almost every video. <laughs> okay, the drills came out of there. They were rolled up in the um, canvas. Here is just a little sheet that tells you thank you and what all's in the kit. It tells you some tips and tricks on how to diamond paint. It's all good. I usually throw that in the trash because I have so many. All right. The Edge of Enchantment by Meredith Dillman. It has 51 colors and we have one, two, three, four ABs. So here's the picture a little close up. Yeah, she is sitting kind of on the tree, like on a tree branch. I saw uh, somebody that had done this one and it actually made me want to get it because... I wasn't really that interested in it. And then when I saw that it was done, it looked so good. All right, so the Edge of Enchantment, it has this on here, which is also on the canvas. So if you keep these separate from the canvas, then you'll be all right. I don't know why that looks, hopefully they're not wet or something. I guess that was just sticking in there. All right, so here are all the drills. We will go through them in just a moment. And if you don't like the crinkle, what's wrong with you? All right, let's open up this canvas. Per usual, it's poured glue. It is a self-flattening canvas, but you can roll it back on itself to help it flatten out quicker if you so choose. And let's throw this out here and see what it looks like. Oh, cool. Very cool, very cool. That's awesome. I really like this canvas. And it looks like she's in a kimono, so that's really cool too. I like anything Asian inspired. Let me move this over here and see if I can get the glare off. All right, that'll do for right now. So, as you can see, it is a beautiful painting. You have the legend over here in the bottom right. You have it up here in the top left. Do it makes you sparkle. Down here, you've got the thumbnail, the size, and the name of the painting and the artist. Here, you have some social media information, and here is your lifetime guarantee. So, let's take and look at the drill field. Let me get a bunch of different colors and symbols in here. Very clear. I'm not seeing anything that looks identical next to anything else. You know how sometimes that works. Let's look at these colors. Looks pretty good, guys. What do you think, huh? The only thing that I'm seeing a little bit is kind of, I don't know if I can get this up here. You can see it pretty close, but the green with the green, so the small ends and the check mark, you'll have to kind of pay attention to. I think there's another section right here, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. So, let's 
flip her over and get into the drills and then we will see where those four ABs go. Right, so here we go. And like I said before, if you don't like the crinkle, what's wrong with you? Man, there's a lot of drills in here. Woohoo! Okay, let's see. Looks like we got some three tins here. We have three good sized bags of three ten. And it looks like those may be the only three ten. So that's kind of cool. We have our smallest size baggies here, and we've got 435, 989, 986, 987. 841, 3608, 799, 3782, 608, which is a very bright color. That's cool. Uh, 948, 758. We have a bag of 80s. This is our first AB. Say it with me. It stands for Aurora Borealis. Basically, it's got this unique coating on it and it just picks up the colors of the drills around it so it looks really neat. So that is 136. Anything below 150 is going to be a Diamond Art Club AB. We have 797 and 798, 3033, 3371, 433, 3827, 893, and 3708. So those are the smaller bags. And we'll get into sort of the medium size here, 3340, 666, 938, 340, 745. We've got two bags of 3835, and then we've got two bags of 141, which we know is Diamond Art Club's favorite AB to give us. So you can see that coating on there looks really good. Really, really good. So two big old bags of that. We've got two bags of 160, two bags of 951, two bags of 3771. We've got 3746, 712, two bags of 166, and another AB. This is almost like a pinky red. That's very interesting. I don't know that I've seen this color before, and it's got a very goldy yellow coating on it. So that's kind of cool. So that's our third AB. Could have one more in here somewhere. We got two more strips to go, guys. So we have two bags of 159, two bags of 3341, two bags of 356, two bags of 754, and we've got 3727. All right, and the last one. Oh, I lied. No, yeah, okay. It's just a long strip. Okay, the last strip. We've got two bags of 30, uh, 333, but you can see this one. I think this one must have leaked into it. Nope, that's a different color. Hmm, interesting. So there are a bunch of a different color in this particular bag. Okay. <laughs> 3824, 977. We have our last AB, which is 126, and it's this lovely color. We've got three bags of 819. We have three bags of 3836. 963. We've got three bags of 3834. We've got a bag of 154. Two bags of 3726. And two bags of 3830. So those are our colors. I think I have most of the shine off of here. Let's look at these ABs. Number one is 110, and that's this color right here that has a lot of that gold in it. So 110 is going to be primarily in her dress and different spots of her dress. It's not everywhere, but it's in most spots. It's just throughout the dress. It's also over here in this area and a couple right there. Uh, let's see, down in here a little bit to sort of where that kimono is. And over here as well, primarily the largest spot's gonna be in there, and then a little strip right there. Also some up in the wings too. 
So you've got a, a smattering of that throughout. Number two is 126, and that's this kind of lavender color. Now this color, I had a hard time finding. Uh, it's mostly down in here and up the tree just a little bit. So at first looking at this, I was like, oh, is that water? And then I had to look back at the picture and it's all the tree. So it is number two. It is going to be in this area. It's got like just different large sections where that number two is all through here. Uh, let's see where else, a patch over here. And then there's like a little string of it going up there. Um, and I think this is mostly where it is. There are a couple up in here as well, where you see those lighter areas, but that's about it. So that's where it's sort of condensed in that area. Then we have number three, which is 136. And that's a smaller bag. That's this little guy that's kind of that beautiful blue color. Actually, it almost looks more purpley, kind of a purpley blue. So number three is going to be down in this flower on the inner edges of the flower. It's going to be over here. Um, let's see. You're going to get some throughout her dress in little spots kind of like the uh, number one was sort of throughout there. You're also going to get some in the butterflies. There's different areas where there's that darker kind of bluey purple in the butterflies. So you'll get some in there too. And like I said, in the butterflies up here and here. Let's see if there's any in her dress. I'm gonna sneak over to this side just to make sure, yes. So we've got some threes up here through this sort of belt area and that is all. So that's where those are gonna be. And last but definitely not least, we've got number four, which is 141. And we've got that double bag of 141. So let's see where number four is. Number four is going to be all in here where you see the lighter areas throughout her dress. They're just long strips of number four through there, also through this tree. Um, let's see where else. We've got some little spots over here, some little white spots over here and in this section. And I don't see any on her skin. I know sometimes they like to put some on her skin. There are just a couple down here and same thing down at the bottom. They're just a couple of dots. But like I said, they're just big, long strips of number four throughout the dress. And also where you see these white dots in here, those are number fours. This is a number four. And I bet in the tree, there's probably some, yes. So you've got some fours here. And then in this part of the tree, there are like strips of number four. There's also a big section here behind the butterflies. And there are a lot of different dots throughout up here. I guess it's like magical or something. Those are all fours. And even down here, you see some of those dots. So wherever there are little white dots sprinkled, even in her hair, those are gonna be the white ABs. So guys, I hope you have liked the unboxing of The Edge of Enchantment. Um, like I said, it's by Meredith Dillman and it is a 70 by 87. So she's a pretty good size. Have you, uh, did you purchase this canvas or are you going to purchase this canvas? What are your thoughts? Like I said, I wasn't going to get it. I thought it was cute but then I saw the completed version and it's really beautiful. So I did end up getting it. As you can see, it is a diamond art club and it's got the square on here. So as you can see, it says square diamonds.
So this is a square diamond painting. This is Leo. I've had this one for a while, but I haven't unboxed it. And I saw it sitting over there. I was like, ah, I really ought to do an unboxing. So this is Leo by Josephine Wall. This is a discontinued kit, but it's so pretty. I really just wanted to unbox it and show you guys what it looks like. Um, some people may be destashing it because I know that there are some people that are trying to get rid of some of their paintings, maybe that they've ordered and you know, it's just not their style anymore. So this is a 70 centimeter by 88 centimeter. And like I said, it is a square. All right, let's get into this. If I can get in the box here, I'm breaking a nail. Um, like I said, I have had it for a little bit, so it's gonna have an older um, kit. Here's the small sticker. And then here is the older tool kit. Um, as it says here, you get a pen, a grip, you get two pads of wax, you get a little tray, a multi-placer, and some tweezers because it's square. So, most people have other pens and wax or putty and things that they use, so I'm not worried about opening that up. Let us get in here and look at the canvas. I'm so excited about this one. You know I'm a Josephine Wall fan. Her paintings are, uh, you really have to tackle them though. They are quite a feat as they're large and they are very confetti heavy. Um, per usual, this is a poured glue canvas and it is self flattening, but if you're trying to get it flat immediately, you can just roll it back on itself. I've seen some people um, that have unboxed this before and it's a beautiful painting, so I'm really excited to see it. Let us look at what else we've got in here real quick. We've got our big old pack of drills, and it says Leo on there. Ooh, look at that vibrant color. That's pretty at 728. All right, and then you've got your little booklet in here. Um, like I said, this is a little bit older kit, so it's smaller, but uh, it just tells you how to diamond paint. And then we have our big old sticker sheet here. It says Leo by Josephine Wall. Here is the picture. And we have 63 colors. Wow, that's awesome. And then we have five ABs. Anything below 150 is going to be a Diamond Art Club AB. And we'll talk about that in a minute. All right. So let us look at the canvas here. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, this is so big. That's what she said. Okay. Let me get the glare off. All right, we will take a look at the drill field in a minute, so I'll get the rest of this glare off after we look at that. But look how beautiful this painting is. Now, I'm a Gemini, I'm not a Leo, and I know some people were getting them, um, you know, because this was their particular sign, or maybe they had a family member or something. I just got it because I thought it was gorgeous. The lady's hair is so pretty. She's got this big, like, torch. Look at the sky and the lion is fantastic. Her dress is made up of like these beautiful, I don't know if they're sunflowers or something like that, but they look amazing. And then they're over here. It's just a gorgeous painting. And then look at all these here. I bet you where those threes are, all those little white spots, I bet you those are gonna be those uh, 141 ABs. And there are actually a bunch of those over here too. So we'll see, we'll look at that in a minute. Let us pick this up and look at the drill field. Let's look up here where there's a lot of different colors. So yeah, you can look in here and see. So far I don't see any arrows or anything that's, um, that's weird looking. Let's look in the lion's face. The symbols are just always so clear. I just, I think Diamond Art Club does a great job. Let's look down in here. I don't know, guys. Let me know if you see anything funky. Sometimes when I'm looking at it, I don't see anything right away, but uh, it all looks pretty clear and pretty good to me. I don't see any confusing symbols. I know every once in a while you'll get a couple of arrows or something next to each other, but uh, I think it looks pretty good. All right, I'm going to flip this over and we will take a look at the drills. 
All right, so per what I said, per usual, what I said earlier is this has Leo on it. So that way, if you keep these separate from your canvases, I know some people don't keep them in the boxes. You'll know exactly what these drills go to. So, all right, I'm fixing to open these. If you got earbuds in, you know it's gonna be loud. And if you don't like the crinkle, what's wrong with you? All right, let's get into these. Here we go. Oh, wow. It's gonna be fun trying to put these back in the bag, let me tell you. <laughs> Okay, looks like we have quite a few strips here as well. So, let's start with the big the big strip. Here's two that are separate. So we've got a 407 and a 3807. These are really pretty colors. And then, oh, we've got our first AB on this strip. So we have 133, which is a bright orange color. Um, this will focus. There we go. One, uh, 133 is below 150. So it's an AB and AB stands for, say it with me guys, Aurora Borealis. So basically it's just got an extra coating on top and it sort of picks up the colors around it. This has got a lot of gold in it. You can see, but, um, they're just beautiful. They're special drills that they include in their diamond paintings. We have two bags of 780. 3772, 823, 452, 3855. We have three bags of 414, two bags of 451, and we have three bags of that 328. That's a really pretty color. 895, 732, 3860, and we've got two bags of 301. Move this over here. It's a long strip. All right, we've got 470, 3776, 3787, 312, 453, 779. Oh, we have two interesting looking ABs. I, I don't know that I've seen these colors before. So 104 is like this really pretty, almost like peachy color. And then 106 is sort of this creamy color. Look at the coating on those. Wow, that is so pretty. And we've got 647, 904, 898, 820, 3064, 841, 803. We've got two bags of 3371, which is that dark brown. Two bags of 3861 and 158. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Looks like we got, what, two strips left? Ooh, and there's another AB in here, wow. We've got 318, and then look at this. Y'all know I love me some green. 134, that's beautiful. 3835, 317. We have four bags of 783. We've got 792, two bags of 400, 938. 3864 and three bags of 782. All right, we're on our last strip here, and these are the ones that have the least amount of color in them, the least amount of drills. All right, so we've got 101, which I think is our last AB. I wasn't counting, and it's this really pretty color. Look at the coating on there. It's a small bag, but it's a pretty color. And we've got 334, 3350, 666. 3731, 402, 471, 3778, 3023, 498, 648, 3012, 645, 640, 550, 3836, 890, 300, 758, and 327. All right, good colors. We've got a great mix in there. So let me flip her over and we will see where these ABs go. All right, our first AB is going to be 101 and it's number one. And that is this little package of that kind of blue um, AB. All right, so the only places that I saw that were there are little dots right in this section, a couple right down here. And then if you go over to this side, there are just a few down in this bottom area. 
and that's it oh right through here as well so there are just a couple sprinkled throughout there but it's a small bag so number two is going to be 104 and that is that peachy ab so pretty love that color so that is going to be so the peach is kind of random you have some in the torch right through here you've got some around the eyes of the lion a little bit in the beard down here um, you have just a couple, where did I see those? Right down here on the bottom. And y'all, this is so incredibly confetti heavy. It's crazy, just so you know. <laughs> it's really heavy. Uh, you have just one or two through here. You've got a little strip right here, here. Um, a little bit more over here and then where did I see that this other couple of strips right through there so the twos are really spread around and you know that's a medium-sized bag but they're they're definitely spread around oh and I think I'm trying to remember there were just a couple in her hair as well so the next color is going to be 106 which is three and that's this one that's that really pretty cream color let's see where three is we have some threes down here there are like some little stars so you can see the threes and then they're all dotted over here as well some more stars uh, and the threes are dotted over here there's another star in this area um, let's see if there's any up here I don't know yes okay so where the stars are in her hair and then in her necklace she also has some of those threes um, let's see I bet you yeah and then these little stars up here so that's all gonna be that cream color the next one is also kind of a smallish bag it is 133 and it's number four and that's this kind of orange, bright orange color. All right, number four, that orangey color, there's just a touch in her hair right there. And then it's all throughout where you see this orange in the torch. So you've got your number fours primarily in that torch area. And last but not least, like I said, y'all know I love me some green. 134 is number five. And that's this pretty good size bag green AB. So let's see where these go. I am not surprised one bit. The fives are primarily going to be in her dress and then also down in the grass a little bit. So you've got all these green areas up here in her uh, top and then you've also got these areas all throughout here in the dress down here you've got some down in this area and then dotted throughout here a little bit right there and then just a couple in that section so it's primarily going to be the green that's in her dress really pretty i'm kind of surprised there's not some sort of ab or something here uh in the necklace or the the neck piece around the lion or even some in his Fur. So I'll probably do a little something something with that and then um, I don't know go from there but I like the ABs I like the placement I think it's really gonna be a lovely painting so I'm glad I got this one let me know if you got this one too um, if you've got her in your stash and if you don't I hope you at least enjoyed this unboxing video so you can see what it looks like all right guys um, please give me that thumbs up. And if you would like to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and then click the bell and it'll no notify you any time that I put up a new video. All right, guys, until next time, I see you then. Bye.